this year, try giving your mom a handmade bouquet that will last her until next May, maybe even longer. Here to show us how to do it is Macy Fiella. She's a co-owner of Knack in East Hampton. Macy, great to have you back on the show. Thanks. This is what we're making. They're so cute and Thank they will you. last much longer yes, than fresh flowers. Exactly. So we're going to make some paper poppies or poppy-like flowers. And you only need a few simple things to, to make them. So you need some kind of paper. I use tissue paper for these. And these I use some old book pages, which I thought had a nice look to them. And it then does. you need some wire and button. And that's it. And you're going to show us how to yeah, do it. Yeah. And, and that's the finished product. We're actually looking at a photo right now. And they're so, so cute. They're great. You can actually match it to your mom's decor. Exactly. So that they'll, they'll go in the home. Right. And, and they're so light and delicate and pretty. So yes. uh, we're going to show the one making the uh, flowers out of the book pages. So this is an old book that the library was going to throw away. The cover is gone and hasn't been checked out in 20 years. So um, <laughs> What you're going to do is just start by tearing out a few pages at a time. So I'll give you maybe three pages to start. You can just and keep those together. This is something your kids can do. And oh, yeah. this is the one time that they can rip pages out exactly. of the book. Exactly. I'm telling my kids, no. <laughs> don't do that. We don't do that, except now. We yeah. <laughs> and these, I didn't even use scissors. I thought it looked a little bit nicer, just sort of ripped and Definitely. ragged around the edges. So you're just going to start, actually, just keep them all together because oh. you can tear a few at a time, which makes it go a little bit quicker. So you're just going to sort of tear a petal like shape out of it which is just sort of you know what a petal looks yeah. like right kind of like a circle yeah. but not perfect exactly kind of like that and they don't have to be perfect at all um, and basically all about the same size some can be a little bit smaller for the center but you can always rip them when you're finished making the flower to kind of finish it off. So I love it doesn't this. have to be too perfect. Tearing and ripping, no tools required. Yeah. And so for each flower, you're going to need maybe between, I don't know, 8 and 12 petals, depending on how sort of fluffy you want your flower. Okay. Um, I yeah. want a fluffy one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go for the fluff. All, All right. right. So what you're going to do is just take all your petals mm -hmm. and you're going to sort of fan them out. Okay. Into a flower-like shape. That's easy enough. Yeah. Now, does the process is the process the same for tissue paper? Yeah, it is. Uh, tissue paper is so light that sometimes it's kind of hard to separate. Yeah. So uh, it just might take a little bit longer to get the shape that you want. Okay. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, it's kind of nice that when they're a little bit imperfect. All right. Beautiful. So you're going to have your little flower shape. And then I found it was easiest to use maybe a safety pin to prick two holes before you start to poke your wire through. Okay. And the wire that I used is just anything that's really bendable and easy to, you know, shape with your hands. Mm -hmm. um, so there's, and it, the flowers are so light that it can be a really thin wire as long as it's, you know, fairly sturdy. Okay. And I see there, like, you use a pipe yeah, cleaner there. Yeah, this one I used so. a pipe cleaner, so you can use any sort of stem. But the wire is easy to poke through the button that you're going to use Perfect. for the center. And this is obviously so, something adults yep. want to do. Yeah. <laughs> this part, Or yes. maybe even. So just sort of stick your pin through to poke the first hole. Okay. And poke another little hole next to it. Yep. So two. So yep. Two little holes. Okay. okay. And then take a piece of wire that I've already cut with my little Thank wire snips. You. You're welcome. And maybe about a foot long or so. You can always trim it in the end. And sort of just stick it through. Hey, look at how easy. Okay. You're, you did it really quickly. <laughs> and then so one side, and then make a little loop, right? Go yeah. through the other side. Right. You got to put your button on it first. Oh, see, that's yeah. why you're here. Oh, man, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, can I use this button? Yeah. Okay. So, so how do I? Yes. So I'm just gonna let you do it because you're doing such a great job. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> so you stick it through, and yep. then you have to skip. I'll put it through yep. the other put it through one, the other. and then through the through your other hole. Got it. You got it. It's a little tricky to use the wire this way, so you just obviously want to be careful so you don't get yourself but right. all right so while we're doing this let's talk about happy mother's day yeah you mother too two. i am and what is it that you love about being a mom oh macy well, i'm sure see. the list goes on yeah and on. the list goes on and on um I think the way that my kids see the world, it's always, it's something fresh and new, things that you haven't really thought of in a long time, and your kids see it in a fresh way, and it reminds you to look at things that way, you know? Yeah. Something new and different, and... Like, you're, right, you're learning, you don't realize how much you learn from them. Exactly. That, that I didn't really so realize true. that, so. That's so nice. What about you? Oh, gosh, my gosh, the list goes on and on, but I just, I love uh, those, the, the moments yeah. where they do something for the first time. Right. 
that, oh, that first yes. moment of, oh God, it's just, you wish you could just capture it forever. Well, you, you know, sometimes you do, sometimes right. you don't. Now oh, I, you I, don't. I, oh, yours is so good. <laughs> really? I yeah. don't know. All right, so we're getting there. Now, yes. okay. we're almost out of time, but yep. I want to ask you, we're throughout the show, we've been, you know, asking everyone, what your mom taught you about yeah. life? I think my mom taught me, um, she's an awesome lady, by the way, uh, she taught me to embrace change. You know, she sees the world as changing, and I think a lot of older people are afraid of that, but she's like, oh, we're on Facebook now. This is what we do. You know, she sees change as an opportunity for something richer in her life, which That's so I love. great, and you learned that from yeah. her, so you'll carry that yeah. through your life, and so, we can all learn from that, too. This is kind of a mess. No, that's but beautiful. Look at, so it's then, done, and then yep. you want to kind of crinkle them a crinkle little? Crinkle them a little. You can also use some watercolor if I you wanted to that. color them. And on the bottom, all you do is slip the other button through and, you're done. and twist, and that's it. Thank you yes. so <laughs> much. This was so fun. And later in the show, we're going to show you another fun craft you can make your mom this Mother's Day, so stay tuned. Thanks so much, Macy. Thanks.